Hi, this is Rick Lippert with Easy Voto Scan. Wanted to take a few moments because a number of our clients often ask, hey, I've got a flypad scanner and they've got multiple images on them or it's a scrapbook page. I want to take out the various elements individually. How can I do that in an automatic type of way rather than have to crop each and every one of them individually out of the initially scanned image? If you have a Kodak Picture Saver scanner, PS50, PS80, you're operating it with the Kodak Picture Saver soft scanning software along with tethered to the Kodak legal size or A3 flatbed accessory. You can utilize what we use as the Kodak Photo Selector Accessory. This is an automated tool that allows you to do that. You place the image down, scan it, it will then auto find all of the various images, process them for you, save them into your um, viewing screen and allow you then to do some other manipulations if you'd like. This tool also gives the operator the ability to adjust the area that's been captured. You can crop it tighter, add additional ones, um, and then we'll segment it all out for you based on your selections if you want to manually do it as well. The challenge is if you're using a different interface with your Kodak Picture Saver Scanner than the Kodak Picture Saving software or operating in a Mac environment, this software will not work for you since it's designed specifically for Windows-based platforms. So we wanted to share with you some other options that we have found here at Easy Photo Scan that can accomplish the same type of task. The first one that we have located is called Auto Splitter. Auto Splitter allows you to scan the pictures and then it will automatically detect what needs to be cropped and allow you to split them and separate them into different images. So you still achieve the same task of being able to have the image itself in its entirety as well as the various different images. The auto splitter can be found at autosplitter.com and it runs about $39.95 at the time that we created this specific video. It does only operate on a Windows platform. Another Windows only platform is called the Scan Speeder. This is, can be found at scanspeeder.com. There's a little video that you can watch that shares with you, and you can download a trial version if you'd like. It runs about $29.95 and accomplishes the same kind of task, in as much as that it takes all the images from your scanned page and allows you to separate them into the various separate images. The process is uh, pretty automatic. Once it ingests the image, then it will split them out for you. Again, though, this is only for a Windows operating system. We found another application. Um, this one is actually um, from Europe. Um, this is the Lemke program. It's designed just for Mac. Um, it uses a plug-in system. Uh, there's a manual and this type of thing. It runs about 34.95 euro. And um, depending on the conversion rate, would uh, be the, the price in US dollars. And there's a whole manual, and you can take a look at that as well, and download a test version if you like. Another application that you can use in the same genre is, in, is GIMP, the image manipulation program. Um, this program's been around for a number of years. It's a fantastic cross-platform works on Linux, works in a, uh, the operating system for Mac, also works for Windows. Uh, it's free and um, it does require that you use a plug-in. There's a lot of documentation out there. If you just go out and Google uh, splitting uh, images with GIMP, GIMP, it will allow you the opportunity to sh walk you through the whole process. Um, I will tell you this, that this, unlike the other Windows applications, does not allow you to actually see the, the image beforehand. It's, it's more of a command line type of thing, so you identify the pictures that have been scanned and have multiple images on them, and then the GIMP program with the specific plug-in goes ahead and walks through them, separates them all, and then you work with your images. 
Another option, both for the Mac and Windows platform, is Photoshop. Photoshop is available uh, through a subscription program where you can download the application itself. Uh, it works uh, very similar to what we had with the Kodak Picture Saver, uh, uh, the picture uh, photo selector software, uh, where as much as that you come down, you automate this process, and um, we can uh, just do the crop and straighten function. It will cycle through all of the images and then identify each one and then allow you to, to do what you need to with them. You can rotate them, this type of thing, or save them. And finally, another solution, uh, probably a little bit uh, more cost effective and also available for Windows and Mac is uh, the Elements program from Adobe. And this program, again, being a cousin to the Photoshop program from Adobe, operates exactly the same way uh, in as much as that you come up under to the images, you open up the images, it has a thing called Divide Scan Photos and walks through the process, uh, crops, straightens them, identifies them out individually. Um, kind of nice, gives you a little thumbnail down here at the bottom to, to take a look at. And then you can uh, either rotate the pictures or do what you, you'd like to with them. Um, this one runs about $69.95 uh, US dollars. So I hope that uh, you've uh, gotten an idea of a number of the different ways that you can do this cropping and straightening of multiple images or objects on a page when you're scanning using a flatbed. Again, we had the uh, Elements program. We also had the Photoshop program. As we had GIMP, the Limkey, the Scan Speeder, the Auto Splitter uh, program. And then finally, the Kodak Picture Saver Scanning Systems Kodak, Kodak Photo Selector Accessory. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact any of our scanning professionals here at Easy Photo Scan. You can reach us at easyphotoscan.com and merely uh, select connect with us. Or you can call us at 1-800-739-6919.